Now what I've done to make this last video exciting is I've deleted my entire military hoping that someone declares war on me so I get that massive production bonus as Australia and uh, that could be bad and good at the same time I guess. So at this point, I literally have the world's smallest military. I don't know why. I guess because Saladin lost his his uh, his capital. He has yeah. He's lower in this bar, but yeah, I only have 200 right now. So yeah, smallest military in the world. Hopefully that baits somebody in, man. I would I would love that, but uh, but we'll see. I, I don't I I don't know what's gonna happen. Okay, let's send this trade route back towards. Uh, we're gonna transfer this to this city. I'm also gonna get globalization in seven turns, which means that I can enact a policy. There we go. Commerce. Uh, e-commerce, I mean, uh, which is plus five production from international trade routes. Uh, so that would be a huge boost, even more of a boost than, uh, well, not not more of a boost, but that'd be a massive boost, but not more of a boost than uh, I would get if someone were to declare war on me. But we'll see. I, I really, I'm really counting on it. I mean, I'm not counting on it. I'm hoping for it, but, you know, we'll see. Let's let's see if, it, if they want to keep it exciting. Now, China has, I think, the biggest military in the world I mean, I'm not, I'm not really worried about them because they don't have a navy. Do they have a harbor? Uh, they have a harbor, but they're trapped behind uh, Seoul here. So maybe if they wanted to declare war on Seoul, they might come after me or something. I don't know where I'm getting 200 military strength from. I'm pretty sure I've deleted all of them. But maybe there there could be a scattered unit. There probably is a scattered unit somewhere around uh, the the earth that I, I completely lost for like thousands of years. They've just been probably sleeping more than likely. Okay, so uh, two turns and three turns. And then I've got one more to build. This, yeah, this city, I knew it wasn't going to be able to do it. 34 turns over this way. So we'll just ignore that for the most part. And uh, I probably should have started trading. All the trade, all the new routes that I get for, for the next five turns, I'll send it to like India or, or the Congo or something like that so that we get better. Uh, uh, do I want this? I kind of do because I want to keep... No, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Don't, don't give me the hand stuff. Don't give me that hand stuff. <laughs> uh, you always do that. You're always giving me the hand. Okay, so uh, let's say no to this. Say, no, you failed me. You, know, you didn't fail me, but you know you didn't do the right thing. You, know, you didn't do enough. Build a, a seaport or something. I don't know. That would have helped if they had a seaport, but they didn't. Okay, and uh, let's see what we can do here. 14 turns. Nice. Much better. Or a little bit better. Not much better, but yeah, a little bit better. And uh, we next turn this. Oh, Japan finally got off to the... Oh, they, they had a few cities in uh, Siberia. I was going to say, they they had one city for the most part throughout this campaign. And uh, here is my uh, Mars thing that's going to launch here. My other Mars thing. I've got all these different Mars things that are launching apparently. So that's all happening. Thank you. And uh, at this point now, we just send all our trade routes to the, the northern city. And we should be good to go. Um, we have a spy protecting that area, right? I think we do. Do we want to, you know what, let's get a wonder if we can. Let's just see. I've, this is like one of my better wonder games, so I'd like to do that. And uh, we're going to send this spy over here just to, just to give a little bit more of a bonus. Okay, so you have 15 turns. I thought you said 14. I thought I thought I read 14, but maybe it was 15. I'm not sure. Three turns. Come on, baby. Someone come after us. Someone declares war on us, and that 15 is going to turn to a 7. So... Uh, or an eight, one or the other, half of it. So something like that. Oh my gosh, production is so bad. Um, or our amenities, I mean, is so bad. Here, just just build a ranger just in case. And uh, oh, you managed to yeah, actually you actually build the spy. That's that's good for you. I, I didn't think you were gonna actually finish it in time. So that's good. Okay, where's my globalization? Two turns. I feel like you're taking forever. So yeah, this was a really really good city for me, obviously. Uh, it's about to grow again to I mean this is not the best population city it is uh, it could use some work obviously but uh, it it did its job in terms of uh, production I think for the most part okay so you stay there we want to continue to counter spy this I guess I can only counter spy can I can only use one spy to counter spy every single time I think I might I think that might be the case. I, I don't even know. Look, we've got Newcastle still building a spaceport for no reason. Uh, yeah, I do I do realize that. And I'm making more money since I deleted my entire military. So that was kind of nice. All right, so uh, yes, this is amazing. Boom, slap that sucker down. Is there anything else that gives us extra production? We can get science and culture from international trade routes too here soon. Um, no, 
I don't think there's really anything else that helps. Plus gold. We not we might as well make them like awesome trade routes. Do we want I guess it doesn't matter. Yeah, let's just do this one. Okay, boom. And uh, future tech. I know that there's a few trade routes that... Oh, jeez, I don't even care. Um, I guess capitalism. I know there's a few technologies. There we go. Look at that. We get seven from the Indian route. Because some of these guys are already giving... Oh, this is going to be great. All right. I mean, it's too bad. The game's pretty much over. How many spies can I counter spy for that spaceport? Too bad that this game's already over. I would have loved to have seen all of the trade routes, all 13 trade routes going internationally, just to see what it did to the production of this of this city. I'm actually going to wait and see what, what we got going on at the end here. 3,600 gold. I guess I could purchase a great person, or, or, I'm, or at least I'm getting close to it. Amenities from this city, plus two housing. Where's toys at? I need someone to produce me toys. That is really what I need, but okay. Oh yeah, what are you doing? 98? Oh, that's not that good at all. Pretty sure the capital is still better. And it's production focused too. Like, that's the crazy thing. Yeah, wow, that's crazy. And we'll get more gold. Those those routes are pretty uh, amazing. I, I didn't realize how nice they were. I, have, they been, have they been buffed at all? I'm not sure. I haven't really dug too deep into the, the patches. But have it seems like, I don't know, they've been buffed because there are less routes overall. There are much less routes because there's only you can either do a harbor or an economic um, district, and then only yeah you only get plus one trade route from that stuff. Okay, so uh, yeah, let's just let's just go oh, whoever's giving us the most production, and we could always change it up. We got oh here we go. China giving me plus seven. I'm not even looking at the gold by by the way, guys. I know that I might not be super efficient at this, but yeah, I'm not really concerned about the gold. I I think we're gonna finish that wonder. Though, that'll be nice. Come on. Look, too many people were happy with us. We got Russia, Brazil, Congo. They're all happy with us. And uh, let's check on our the culture victory. Nope, they weren't going to do it. Yeah, they're they're not going to they're not going to be able to do it. Barracks in one turn. We're just building like long things. You know what? We we don't need you anymore. Thank you. I'm annoyed by the spies. I don't need the spies anymore. I'm just going to start either putting them to sleep or, or whatever it is. Um, okay, so let's talk about uh, the game here. So Petra was uh, amazing, the fact that I was able to build this wonder in the desert. Uh, people were saying that, you know, it could have been even better if it was in the middle of the continent. Agreed. It could have been really, really good if that city was... Or if I, if I didn't put it right there on the coastline, it probably would have been an even better city. Uh, didn't necessarily do the best in terms of my placement of some of those wonders and districts and things like that up there. I realize that. Ooh, entertainment district is really useful here, even though, yeah. Whoa, what? Oh, I think that gold route is gone. Your international trade routes plus gold per luxury. Oh, that's kind of cool. Yeah, this is even better. Uh, so that was really helpful. Okay, this, yeah, I'm deleting these guys. I'm, I, I don't care. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, but no thank you. And then you guys come here. Okay, so five turns plus however long. Wait, does this get updated? That's what I want to know. It does get updated with, that, with, with the trade routes, I think. I think it does. I'm not too sure about that, though. Nuclear program. Yeah, we never ended up building the Manhattan Project, so that was interesting. Um, I wish that... So I wish this map was a little bit more favorable towards uh, Japan. Obviously, Japan didn't get a very good start on their on their island. That's needless to say. Uh, they had like one small little island that they really weren't able to do much with. So uh, that kind of sucks for them. They weren't really able to expand. Although I kind of knew Japan was going to be really tough as an AI. They were not going to have the, the easiest of times because there's just so many islands out here. And if you've seen any of the Civ 6 AI-only battles that I've done, uh, it, it shows the AI really doesn't like settling on islands. So I figured something bad, something, yeah, was going to happen with that. Um, yeah, I'm tra changing all these routes, even though it probably won't make that much of a difference in the end. I'm just deleting these, even though I just made it. Uh, so, so yeah, I, I, that was interesting that Japan wasn't able to do that much, but at the same time, uh, probably should have played on a more specific Eastern Asia or Pacific uh, map would have been a little bit better. But I still wanted to try out this base game map 
uh, that Fraxis included through this patch. And by the way, just so you know, the way I was able to unlock more people is is, is if you enact the uh, the yet not another Earth map pack mod, you can you st you still raise the limit on Fraxis base game mods. You still raise the limit of of civs through Fraxis base game mods. Basically, if that makes any sense. So uh, so that's how I was able to do that. By the way, what do we got? Three turns. Okay. Uh, no, just go away, Haran. I should have given you that deal before. I, I know that, that, I think last video, I should have given you that deal, but yeah, that didn't end up happening. Jeez, this guy didn't even finish his spaceport. That's sad. There we go. There's an arena for us. Uh, our amenities, yeah, amenities aren't doing very well. You're at 21 population. You did get to 24. This guy got to 20. I really liked this city, man. This was, this was a really cool city. Uh, I didn't really get to spend much in Indochina because... It's not even my city. I didn't technically take it fairly from uh, from Gandhi, but uh, yeah, so I didn't really get to focus on it too much. Give me a suzerain bonus with Hong Kong. That sounds cool. And uh, I'm just gonna pick any route now. Is this, is that it? Yep, yeah, that's it. So we never fixed your amenity issue, but anyways, that was my TSO game here as Australia. Got a few colonies here in North America, which I thought was cool. Um, I thought America was in the game. I really thought America was in the game for some reason. Um, and there it goes. So, so there it is. Uh, I'm going to skip that last thing. Okay, and then the last thing that I've got to admit. Uh, oh, hold on. I guess I should look at the replay. Um, science per turn. Yeah, so we just exploded past people. At turn 250, it was just poof. So, uh, geez, uh, that's kind of insane how, how high that was. Um, compared to at least everybody else. Did I do the most wonders? I didn't do the most wonders. I thought I would have. Is there production per turn? I guess not. Or I, I guess how how would they calculate that? So it makes it makes some sense. Um, but anyways, the last thing I want to mention is uh, when I was okay. So clearly, I I made I made some mistakes setting up this game for sure uh, because I was talking about how I thought America or England were gonna do you know whatever a good job or they were gonna be scary. Um, England wasn't in the game. America wasn't in the game. Also, I had no idea. This is the first time playing on the vanilla map that uh, that Japan was just a few you know tiles. I, I've said that. Uh, lastly, I didn't know this game was on Prince until I was about like eight videos into the series. Um, I, I was like eight videos into the series. I got really into this uh, into this campaign, and then uh, and then someone was like, "Wait, Drew, you playing on Prince?" I'm like, "Oh my god, oh my god, I'm playing on Prince! Like, what the hell?" Uh, so that was a complete mistake. I did want to talk about that here at the very end part of the series. Uh, either way, uh, it was still fun, and I'm I'm really really glad. So I didn't notice it because the way Australia starts on this continent, I was by myself for like the first the first eight pretty much the first eight episodes. Uh, I don't think any wars were declared or anything like that. So I there was no way of me of knowing I would have known if I started off in Europe and we were playing on Prince because I would be like what's, what's wrong with the AI um, also due to the map changes I figured you know because Japan was on a small island even on a higher difficulty they they weren't gonna do very well either so uh, so yeah I, I had no idea so that was I thought kind of funny that I'd let you guys know probably probably one of the biggest crack moments I've ever had uh, being eight videos into a series and then people saying wait Drew, I didn't know you're playing on Prince I'm like oh I didn't know I was doing that either <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so this is, this has actually been my first Prince game ever in uh, in Civ Six, which, again, I'm glad that I did it as Australia because I would have never built the Petra uh, on Prince. I would have never built these wonders. But luckily, I, you know, again, I would have never had this amazing city. So I was able to really show off how great the Australian AI is, or how their potential. I mean, not AI, the Australian Civ uh, potential by building the Petra in a desert you know, with access to this stuff. So I'm kind of, you know, I am kind of glad that I did because I was, you know, really able to focus on our empire as Australia and and really show off this sieve, how great they can be. With those appeal tiles, honestly, this is one of the best sieves in the game, uh, for sure. I, I might need to redo my my old, like, top 20 best sieves in the game. Australia would definitely be, like, in the top five, I think, because that appeal tile adjacency bonus is amazing. And then, obviously, the production bonus you get from liberating city-states or, or cities in general uh, or in Defense of Wars is is that extra half of like, boom. I think they're really good at science. And, uh, you know, obviously they can go for religious start too. They have a pretty good ability for 
a religious victory. So anyways, uh, yeah, that was uh, my little long rambly thing at the end here. Thank you guys for watching. <laughs> So I'm still deciding on what we do for the next series. Uh, I might, I, I definitely want to play as Poland still, uh, maybe on a TSL. Uh, I do want to go back to uh, some AI only things, whether it's 1v1 or whether it's a back to like a massive earth map. Uh, but let me know in the comment section down below. I always like seeing your guys' suggestions. It's always a very important part of, uh, of what I do with the channel. So anyways guys, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.